So can you imagine a piano student showing up for their very first lesson and being told, well, the first thing you need to learn is how to tune this instrument. Preposterous idea. But that's kind of where guitar playing starts. And uh, fortunately, in this digital age, we have these wonderful devices called guitar tuners. Now, that doesn't mean it's a, it's a device that tunes your guitar, but it's a device that gives you a reference as to how the guitar is to be tuned. Now, this diagram here, picture of the guitar neck, I'll zoom in on it just a little bit, shows that when you have the guitar in tune, it will be tuned to these pitches. And when I say pitch, that's a music theory word that has to do with what will be the sound of that particular string regarding highness or lowness of the sound. So you can see those pitches are E, A, D, G, B, and E. Now, you do not know what the sound of any of those pitches would be unless you happen to have what's known as perfect pitch or absolute pitch. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But we do have these devices that will hear the sound of a string and will register that sound and give it a name and tell you whether it is exactly correct or not. Now these digital guitar tuners are wonderful devices and they come in all kinds of different um, varieties, shapes, sizes. This is a fairly inexpensive one here. I'll zoom in on it and you can see that it is really quite small. And yet, as I am talking, you notice that different lights will light up depending on how low or how high my voice is. So that's an example of one. Here's another one here that shows a little needle sort of gauge that goes across the string. I mean across the screen and it will actually get to a certain point on that screen and when it's right in the middle that means that your string would be perfectly in tune. My favorite one which is of course a little archaic is this and this is known as a tuning fork and it gives you the exact pitch for the highest string on the guitar and this one is used by hitting it upon your knee or something of that nature and you hear the sound of the tuning fork as it vibrates through the guitar so it, it becomes a bit of a challenge <coughs> for the beginning student to get their guitar in tune. But with these tuners, you simply turn on the tuner and you adjust the pitch of the string to where the correct light comes on or the needle is right straight in the middle of the screen. So I'll give you a little bit more information on how to use the uh, tuning fork later. But this is a very important part of playing because if your guitar is not perfectly in tune, well I shouldn't say perfectly in tune, but is not adequately in tune, um, you may be doing all the right things with your right and left hand, but what you're going to hear, or what other people are going to hear, doesn't sound correct or doesn't sound pleasant because in fact the instrument's out of tune. And uh, you are the one that has to keep your guitar in tune.